Corazón TV. Hi class, welcome back to Classroom TV. And for today's video, I'm going to discuss the Biodiversity and Healthy Society, which is part of our Unit 4, Issues and Applications of Science and Technology in the Modern Age of the Science, Technology, and Society course. So what are the objectives of these lessons? First is to define biodiversity. Second, Explain the importance of biodiversity. Third, explain and give some examples of component of biodiversity. Fourth, distinguish habitat from niche. Fifth, enumerate some activities which threaten biodiversity. And lastly, assess the status of our biodiversity. So to properly start our discussion for today, let me define biodiversity. Biodiversity is a combination of the two words, biological and diversity. Biological means living organism and diversity means variation. Biodiversity is the number of variety of plants, animals, and other organisms that exist in an ecosystem. So it means that biodiversity is not only pertaining to plants and animals. It also includes microorganisms like viruses, bacteria, and the like. It is the measure of the variety of organisms present in different regions. The richness of biodiversity depends on the climatic conditions and area of the region. Biodiversity is the result of 3.5 billion years evolution. So if you watch the movie or documentary How the Earth Was Made, you will see there how organism evolved from single cell organism called cyanobacteria to two-legged mammals called human. Now, Let's proceed to habitat and niche. First is what is habitat? A habitat is a place where an organism makes its home. A habitat meets all the environmental condition an organism needs to survive. The main components of a habitat are shelter, water, food, and space. So these are some of the habitats of our biodiversity. For wild animals, we have desert, forest, savanna, grassland, lakes, rivers, oceans, polars. For domestic animals, we have domestic. For agricultural biodiversity, we have farms. Then, what is niche? A niche, or better to say ecological niche, is a species' ecological role in its community. It's determined by many factors. This include the condition the organism can tolerate and the resources it needs. Its interaction with other species also plays a role. In short, niche is a functional role of an organism that plays within an ecosystem. So to better understand this niche, I have example here coming from Sylvia Freeman, the Goldie Pinch and the Three Branches. A tail of one bird is struggling to find its niche in the big bad forest. In this analogy, the Goldie Pinch is the species and the branches are the niches. Just like in the story, one branch is too thin to support the goldy pinch, one is too thick, and the other one is just right. Organisms have evolved over time to fit into their niches. Then biodiversity has three components, the genetic diversity, the species diversity, and the community or ecological diversity. First to discuss is the genetic diversity. Genetic diversity refers to variation or differences in the genes of species of individuals. Genes are segments of DNA 
which is responsible for our characteristic. Genes is the unit of heredity. Their variation happened in a small scale, but its impact is on the large scale. So in short, changes in the genes will be the first step in the evolution of the individual making a new set of population. The example of genetic diversity is the Seya maize. Originally, this crop has five varieties, the peeled, sweet, popping, plint, and podcorn. But due to the stress of changing environment, these corns need to adapt to survive. Hundreds of hybrid varieties were produced to make sure that these crops will survive in the certain climatic condition. Now we have purple corn, yellow corn, black corn, and even blue and green corn. So this is the example of genetic diversity. The second component of biodiversity is the species diversity. It is the diversity of number of species or species diversity. This involves a combination of species number and the relative abundance in an area. The latter is a measure of whether an ecosystem is dominated by a single species or if similar number of individuals is present. A species is a group of interbreeding organisms with similar structure around the world. About 1.5 million species are identified, but according to scientists and taxonomists, this is just a fraction of what is currently existing. New species are added every day. It is believed that insects are the most diverse. A gram of soil is composed of different species of microbe and a drop of seawater is composed of millions or hundreds of planktonic species. The birds, rabbits, alligators, fishes, and cats are all different species. So in short, species diversity is the diversity between different species. Okay, continuation for species diversity, it describes the variety in the number and abundance of species within a region. To accurately determine species diversity, both the species richness, which is the number of different species, and the relative abundance, which is the number of individuals within each species, must be considered. The species richness depends largely on climatic condition. So this is the example of species diversity. When an elephant, example, when an elephant with a tusk and the other one without a tusk are joined together, there is a genetic diversity. But if these two elephants join with giraffe, zebra, flamingo, monkey, this will be called species diversity. And when these animals interact with Abiotic factors such as water, air, light, humidity, this will be form an ecological diversity or ecological diversity. Sioux is the perfect example of ecosystem diversity because Sioux have artificial lake, forest, grassland, and seas. The third component of the biodiversity is the community or ecological diversity. Community diversity or ecological diversity refers to a variety of ecosystem in a given region. Ecosystem is a biological community including all of the abiotic factors that affect them. So we have two major types of ecological ecosystem the aquatic ecosystem and the terrestrial ecosystem. Aquatic ecosystem may be freshwater like uh, lakes, rivers, marines, oceans and seas 
estuaries, and coastal. Terrestrial ecosystem may be grassland, forest, desert, and the like. This ecosystem cater a wide range of species population that interact with one another forming a community. Their survival and interaction are mediated and influenced by a variety of non-living or the abiotic factors such as air, water, temperature, humidity, pH, light intensity, current, and many more. Ecosystem diversity is of huge importance from the point of interesting species and complexity of niches. An ecosystem also interacts with another ecosystem in a specific overlapping region known as ecotone and thus may affect each other's sustainability. Ecosystem diversity describes the assemblage and interactions of species living together and the physical environment of a given area. It relates varieties of habitats, biotic communities, ecological processes in biosphere. It also tells us about the diversity within the ecosystem. For example, the landscape like grassland, desert, mountain, etc. show ecosystem diversity. So different uh, ecosystem have different uh, living organism. The ecosystem diversity is due to diversity of niches, tropic levels, and ecological processes like nutrient cycling, food webs, energy flow, role of dominant species, and various related biotic interaction. Such type of diversity can generate more productive and stable ecosystem or communities capable of tolerating various type of stress like drought, flood, food shortage. In short, ecosystem diversity is referred to the variety of habitats, communities, and ecological processes within and between the ecosystem. So now we are done with the three diversity or three components of biodiversity, the genetic diversity, the diversity or variation within the same species, and then the species diversity, the variety between different species and the ecosystem diversity, the diversity uh, or the variety of habitats, communities, and ecological processes within and between ecosystem. So this is the example of uh, ecological diversity, the Amazon rainforest, because aside from the forest or the jungle, Inside the Amazon rainforest, we have uh, grassland, rivers, and even savanna. So next, let's proceed to the importance of biodiversity. Biodiversity affects human on various aspects. In terms of economy, so many countries, provinces, there are... Um, their tourist spot depends on biodiversity, like in Bohol. The main attraction there is the Philippine Parshir. Then, let's proceed to Verde Island Passage, the coral reefs or the marine, uh, marine organism. Then, for health, we all know that the 90% of our medicine came from uh, medicinal plants. For the culture, many of us believe that the trees have a spirit for aesthetic and environmental issues. The fundamental importance of biodiversity is that is our source of food, or this is the only source of our food, vegetable, fruits, and uh, even meat, no, the red, white meat, for floating, we have uh, silk coming from cocoon, then the 
pineapple uh, silk, shelter, of course, the Bahay Kubo is made of bamboo, and medicine. Biodiversity is also a source of raw materials from industrial activities. The fossil uh, fuel, fossil fuel is coming from the fossil remain, and fossil remains is the remain of the biodiversity living in this world uh, way back a uh, million years ago, a uh, million years ago. Humans enjoy different products and goods, clean air and water, soil and water resources due to biodiversity. We all know that the only source of uh, clean air or the oxygen we breathe is the tree. Life would be so boring if there is no variation around us. In terms of distribution, biodiversity is not evenly distributed. Rather, it varies across or greatly across the globe as well as within regions. Among other factors, the diversity of all living things depends on temperature, precipitation, altitude, soil, geography, and the presence of the other species. Diversity consistently measure higher in the tropics and lower in the polar regions generally. Why this happening? I will discuss it in the succeeding slide. Rainforests and have wet climates for a long time have particularly high biodiversity. Terrestrial biodiversity is more of 25 times greater than marine biodiversity. So this is the reason why the equator or the tropic regions is uh, are having the most biodiversity than the other region. This picture is showing the weather and climatic zones in planet Earth where the northernmost part of the planet is the Arctic or the Arctic region. The second one is the one of the two temperate regions of our planet, the Tropic of Cancer, which is also referred to as Northern Tropic. It is the most northerly circle of latitudes of Earth, which the sun can be directly overhead. Then the middle or the middle area of the globe that is lie between latitude lines of Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn is the tropic regions. This area is rich in biodiversity because of the enough heat. The higher temperature in the tropics cause higher rates of metabolism, ecological dynamics, and coevolutionary processes which generate and maintain higher biodiversity. Some of the biodiverse areas found in the tropics are Madagascar, Amazon rainforest, the Coral Triangle, and the Philippines. Next is the Tropic of Capricorn and the Antarctic Circle. So what is biodiversity hotspot? A biodiversity hotspot is a region with a high level of endemic species. When we talk about endemic species, this is the species that can only be found in a certain area. Like in the Philippines, we have uh, Philippine eagle, Philippine tarsier, uh, Suscopa philippinensis that is endemic in the Philippines and experiencing great habitat loss. So to become a hotspot, you need to have um, endemic species or high level of endemic species and experiencing great habitat loss. While hotspots are spread all over the world, the majority are forest areas and the most are located in the tropics. Brazil is the most diverse country 
And the Philippines is one of the mega diverse countries in the world. So these are the 17 mega diverse countries in the world. Mega diverse is the term used to define the world's top biodiversity rich country. The concept is used to highlight uh, environmental conservation issues around the world. To qualify as mega diverse countries, it must have a high level of endemicism or endemic species and then you also have marine ecosystem along its border. So Philippines, aside from a high level of endemic species, uh, we have high level of endemic species here. We also have the marine ecosystem inside our border. So in uh, the Philippines, Malaysia, Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, we found here the coral triangle, the center of marine species of the world. And in the Philippines, between the uh, Kalatagan, Batangas, and the Mindoro Island, found the center of the center of marine biodiversity. This is called the Birdie Island Passage. So this is the biodiversity hotspot where Philippines is one of them. Now let's proceed to Philippine biodiversity. The Philippines being a tropical and archipelagic country has very rich and diverse flora and fauna. Flora means plants and fauna means animals. That is according to National Biodiversity Strategy and Action Plan 2002. Considered as a biodiversity hotspot, the country attracts tourists and scientists to come over and examine our natural resources. Though this possesses an advantage to our national economy, on the other hand, this is critically threatening our local environment because public or we allow public to observe and investigate our treasure that can lead to the eventual disturbance and worse exploitation of these natural resources especially if they are not given protection or enough protection. <laughs> So these are the numbers of discovered animals in the Philippines and their conservation status according to DAO 2004-15. CR stands for Critically Endangered, EN for Endangered Species, BU for Vulnerable, and OTS for Threatened Species. Overall, we have 211 at-risk species out of 264. These numbers are very high and need a specific action to stop this. So endangered species are species which are in danger of extinction. Extinct means no living members are no longer in existence. So these are some endangered species in the Philippines. The Philippine crocodile, the Philippine eagle, the tamarau, the bumbon sardines or tawilis, the calamian, and the Philippine spotted deer, the tarsier sea turtle, balabak mouse deer, wild pig, then Philippine forest turtle for the trees, for the flora, we have walling walling, coist plant, staghorn fern, arabica kopi, and katmon. So this is the rupus hornbill, also known as the Philippine hornbill and locally as kalaw. This is a large species of hornbill that endemic or only found in the Philippines, where it 
occurs in primary, mature, secondary, and disturbed forests on several islands of the country such as Luzon, Marinduque, Samar, Leyte, Bohol, Panawon, Biliran, Kalikoan, Buwad, Dinagat, Shergao, Mindanao, and Basilan. It is still common locally, notably in Sierra Madre of Luzon, but continues to suffer from substantial hunting, uh, substantial hunting pressure and widespread loss of habitat. They are one of the largest birds in the tropical lowland forest. According to IUCN, Philippine hornbill is now on the conservation status of vulnerable. Vulnerable species are the species that their population has declining top the levels where it is likely to move into the endangered category. In layman's term, these species are at risk and need special care and protection. Then, let's proceed to wild flora. This one is the status of our Philippine plants. In total, we have 16,223 identified flora in our country. And 526 of them are at risk. So, this is the lichens. Lichens is the good indicator of environment because lichens can only live in environment that has good air quality. Overall, as of 2014, we have 43 mammals, 126 birds, 30 reptiles, 14 amphibians, and 526 flora are at risk. So why is this happening? Because of anthropogenic activities that I am going to discuss in the succeeding slide.